What's going on YouTube? This is Sean. I am back again and in this video we're going to be working on the Predator's helmet and his lovely locks because um yeah, Predator's a thing now, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. I've already got my templates drawn out and printed out on a large piece of paper. And I'm going to start by tracing off the patterns for the forehead. And you're probably thinking, that's the forehead? Well, it's only half of the forehead. Predator's just got a really big forehead. And if you don't know who Predator is, then you better ask someone. And this is probably the only pieces that I'm going to need the thick floor mat for. Uh, for the rest of the helmet, I'm going to use this other anti-fatigue floor mat that you can get in a roll. And it's a little bit thinner. Now, I normally use 6 or 5 millimeter EVA craft foam, whatever. But I figure, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and use the floor mats for this helmet because I'm not really aiming for perfection. I kind of want to go for a real gritty look since the Predator is more cosmic, not Cosmo. Get it? <laughs> well, anyhow, this is the part for the lower half of the helmet. This is like the uh, the mouthpiece right here. And here are the eye section. And here is the forehead stuff. Notice I cut the center part of the forehead in the thinner floor mat. Now it's time to go in there and apply my contact cement. I normally go through and apply contact cement to all the edges. Well, the edges that's going to be um, connected to another piece. Because, duh. Now in order for contact cement to work, you have to let it dry to attack. Not dry completely or wet. It has to be dry. That's the only way to work. A lot of people was like, Sean, why does your glue stick so instantly? The video editing because I edit the five minutes out. But you have to wait until the glue is completely dry to attack before you can actually use it. I'm going to start by gluing the outer pieces together. Notice that the uh, thickness is different because I meant that to happen. I wanted the uh, staggering look right there. And then once I get them all glued together, it's time to merge it right down the middle. And now it's starting to look like a, uh, what do you call it? A beetle kind of you know one of them annoying bugs that fly around like a June bug they come out in May and then they stick around till September I don't know why they call them June bugs doesn't make any sense well anywho after I get the uh, the forehead all glued together it's time to attach the eye part of the the helmet now I'm experimenting here and I decided to probably glue the eye brow part flush with the uh top of the forehead and you know i wasn't really feeling it so i decided to do it differently on the other side and instead of making it flush on the surface i went ahead and staggered the um the foam kind of like what i did for the top of the forehead and you know what i was digging it a whole lot better and i was like man i already glued the other side no biggie though i got a solution you take some contact uh cement thinner and you put it in a syringe and you put it on the uh, spot that you want to get unglued and they magically come apart. Now you don't want to leave the thinner in the syringe because it will just eat up the syringe. So as soon as you are done detaching your glued piece then dump the rest of that uh, thinner back into its container. Now it's time to move along to the lower portion of the mask. I'm going to start by gluing the... Uh, let's call it the lower eyepiece to the mouthpiece. And, uh, because Predator doesn't have a nose. Just goes straight from eye to mouth kind of thing. Yeah. And, uh, Predator has a pretty funky mouth. I mean, it's not the kind of mouth you, you want to make out with. But, uh, if, if I was to give you a million dollars, would you do it? I mean, I'd be like, hell no. I'd do it for like 500000 maybe. I'm going to use the surface of my table to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And once I get all those pieces put together, it's time to glue on the jawline. And also, I did cut the jawline in the inward angle cut. Well, all the edges were cut in inward angle cut. That way, when I glue them on together, they all kind of just beffle in just like that. And everything is starting to look pretty groovy. Now it's time to attach this piece to the rest of the helmet or the forehead and i'm going to start by 
uh, connecting the centerpiece just like that and then carefully align up the sides and glue that down and uh, yeah so far so groovy and everything is starting to how's it go so far so groovy and I'm digging what I'm cooking I hope you're digging it too well really not really I mean there's still gotta be a way to mount this thing on my head and unfortunately my head don't shape like that I decided to close up that little gap down the center of the back now I've seen other versions where it's wide open so that's entirely up to you um, now it's time to work on the cap part of the helmet because you know we gotta stick this on our head somehow unless your head is actually shaped like the predator then um, you're either from another planet or you got a really big problem but either way I'm not gonna judge you I mean we don't judge anybody that looks like the predator well anyhow as for the cap of the helmet I went and glued the sides and then I went and glued it down the center just like that it looks kind of funky right now but you know when you slap the predators mask on there then the it'll look way cool I mean this cool level just kind of stepped up like 10 notches maybe more I even applied a little bit of glue like on the top of the head where I thought it was kind of sticking up too much but you know that's entirely up to you how you want it I mean I thought it would look better a little bit lower but then again a predator's forehead is pretty big I mean I wouldn't even call it a forehead not even a five head or a six head I'd probably call it like a 20 head or something because that's how big it is now I'm about to either mess it up or make it look really good but that all really depends on how you look at it I'm actually going for a newer version of the Predator based off of the movie. But if you're going for like a older version of the Predator, then stop right here and skip on over to giving him a nice hairdo. Or, you know, you can do whatever you want. I mean, it's your cosplay and it's just cosplay, bro. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just going to take some 5mm craft foam and I went and cut out some really funky design something pretty random but something that kind of resembled what was coming out of the new movie and uh, this is what I came up with I'm using five millimeter EVA craft foam and I'm gluing it on there just like that I thought it looked pretty legit but then again you know I was looking at it I was like man maybe it might have been too much but uh, after I threw on some paint then I was like you know what it's looking pretty legit I can dig it but you know I've seen a lot of different renditions of the Predator's helmet. I've seen some with teeth. I've seen some without the lower half of the uh, mouthpiece. But you know I mean it's whatever bro. You know I'm just saying. Well alrighty now I think I'm just about done with the accent. I think I need to put on this side piece right here. Which is going to be for his laser sighting thingy. Which I don't have a flashlight for it just yet. But I made it big enough just to fit a flashlight into that little slot there by the eye so I went in and threw on a couple coat of black Plasti Dip and uh, black Plasti Dip is a good base coat for this silver gunmetal actually I use silver acrylic paint and then I'm going to take my high-tech high hair hair dryer and then accelerate the drying process because duh ain't nobody got time for that I mean I got nothing else better to do now I'm going to go in there and add some copper tone to the uh, rest of the helmet. And some of you guys are probably thinking, there ain't no copper on Predator's helmet. You don't say. I think it's a really cool color combo, so I'm going to roll with it. But it's looking too nice. I mean, it needs to dirty up a little bit. So I'm going to take some darker acrylic paint, water it down really bad or a lot. Make it pretty runny, but not too runny. And then I'm going to go in there and do some finger painting. And you're probably thinking, finger painting on cosplay? That's unheard of. Well, I'm doing it. See? Am I going to stop me? Well, I'm just going to go in there and dirty it up a little bit. I'm going there and add some more and dirty it up. And you're probably thinking, man, wh where are you going with this, Sean? I mean, it's, you're messing up a masterpiece. Uh, whatever. But to be honest, though, I was questioning my methods here and after it all dried up I was like you know what I look pretty dope I'm gonna stick with it 
because why not right i mean just look at it it looks like it's from out of this world something like that now it's time to move along to doing his lovely locks i'm using some backer rod that i picked up from home depot and some fatty blanket yarn and i'm going to braid um my predator's hair i'm not really gonna braid it i'm gonna take this fatty yarn and i'm gonna roll around this backer rod right here and this is real time i'm not speeding it up but haters would say i'm speeding it up but this is how i really work i wouldn't lie not really kind of maybe so after i was done rolling it up i went and closed it up with some masking tape because that's what i had at the time but i eventually went through and put some duct tape on there now as for the back cap of the predator's helmet i wanted to glue some black fabric and this is actually from an old t-shirt which um, i obviously don't wear anymore and it stretches four ways so it does kind of help keep the helmet on your head and it covers the back uh the rest of the back of the head and then i want to take the yeah, the lovely locks let's just let's call it something else because it's really hard for me to put predator and lovely in the same sentence so let's call it the um dreadlocks or maybe the dreadful locks yeah because the predator doesn't have dreadlocks he has dreadful locks well anywho i'm taking some hot glue and i am going to glue it onto the surface underneath the forehead five head, i mean the 20 head yeah and i'm gonna use some clamps which was a pretty bad idea so i basically went and carefully glued everything down i had to hold everything in place and uh glue each piece and i think i probably made about uh 20 of these dreadful locks and i think that was enough i mean you can actually go for more it's entirely up to you i mean it's just cosplay bro i'm just gonna do whatever uh i just wanted to make enough to fill the gaps and uh yeah and that's how it's looking like so far i don't have a flashlight to put on his uh laser sighting thingy just yet but yeah i, I, I plan on doing that pretty soon but uh yeah let me know what you guys think about my predator helmet in the comment section below and if this is what you're into i mean if this is really what you're into then check the link in the description down below it's going to take you to the template and that'll help support this channel and i would appreciate it a lot like a lot a lot hit that like button if you feel like you got something out of this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed and uh yeah, I think that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one really soon. I promise. I miss you guys already.